Hello, Michael. Can you do some advice on screenwriters' portfolio and what is it about? Not much video is about it. Also, how many samples should we have of our work? Sure. So on the rare occasion that my agent actually calls with a job opportunity, I'm like, hello, who is this? Oh my God, I didn't recognize your voice. We haven't spoken in so long that you got old. Then he'll say, okay, whatever show is hiring at our level, because my partner and I were upper level writers, we don't go out for every job opportunity, only the upper level ones. And then he'll say, what sample do you want to submit? Now, at that point, we need to know the tone of the show. If it's a brand new show, he's got to describe it to us. If it's something that's on the air, we'll watch it. Because you can't, you want to submit a, tone, uh, a sample that closely matches the tone of whatever they want to hire at. And so, for example, let's say it's, a, it's an animated show. We're not going to, and the tone is like a Family Guy, which is big and broad and joke heavy. We wouldn't submit a sample like, like BoJack Horseman, even though that is... A, a, an animated show, it's very different in tone. You want to, you want to, they want to know, can you write what we already have? Okay. And so that's what our portfolio is. He'll also send, uh, you know, a sample, uh, like our credit list, our credit sheet. But other than that, I don't even know what a portfolio is because I'm not an executive, like looking for work on LinkedIn. I don't have a portfolio. I don't even use that term. We send out our writing samples. That's it. And, and our credits. Now for you, same thing. You need to have one excellent writing sample and another one behind it to prove that it's not a fluke. And that sample should match the tone of whatever job you're hoping to get. And now I mean, you're like, well, I'll do anything. I can write anything. I can write thriller, mystery, comedy, drama, action. I can do it all. Okay, you may think you can do it all. You can go ahead and fool yourself all you want. But the person reading your script, that person is, an, you know, they're obviously a very good writer or else they wouldn't have gotten the position to hire you. to hire, And they know that you can't do everything. The same way I can't write everything. So they're not going to be fooled. If, if they're a comedy and you have a comedy sample, but you're not a comedy writer, they're not going to be fooled. So you need to write a sample for whatever you, you think that you are going to excel at and that you'd be a great addition on, onto that show, what you want to write. And whatever tone that is, whatever kind of show... That's, what, that's for you to decide. So don't think you're going to, I'm a jack of all trades. You're not. You, you want to be a specialist. Put yourself in a box. And then you have to have many samples. And for each, for every single kind of show you want to get on. Uh, and they have to be good. And you think, you're like, well, that's a lot of writing. I don't want to do all that free work. Then don't do it. But I guarantee you there's someone else who is happy to do all that free work. They're doing it and they're going to run circles around you. And they are getting ready to bury you because they want that job more than you do. So you write as much as you want or as little as you want, but someone else is going to write a ton more. Ooh, for more, keep following me. I'm Michael Javin, writer.